Hi, I'm David Stewart. I'm an engineering manager at Intel Corporation. I'm part of our open source technology center, and what we're really trying to do is make sure the Intel Xeon processor is the best one for running Open Solaris and the Solaris operating system. And this is very important to us because uh, we think that there are some great solutions to some problems that are that are potential in the data center through some of the work that we're doing with both the hardware and the software. And one of the big ones is really in the area of you know, networking because if, think about it, I mean networking is getting faster and faster. I mean every generation, you know, we're, we're driving this as well, every generation gets faster and you know, the result of this is not only can you get the networking uh, running passing packets faster over the wire, but one of the problems is with this is that it takes more and more CPU time to actually process the, that network networking traffic. So as a result, you can kind of imagine networking being, you know, really super fast, but the processor is being completely busy you know, just processing network traffic. So this is not a very good thing, and what we'd like to do is really try to address this. And uh, we've done a lot of work in this area, and I'd, I'd like to kind of show you a little bit about what we're doing here. This is an area what we call IO acceleration technology. So this is something that uh, we've done a lot of analysis of the TCP IP protocol and looked at places where we can address some of the overhead. So again, you don't have to have have the CPU involved in some of these things if it's not necessary. Um, let me give you an example of this. Uh, you know, here if you have a, uh, an Intel NIC or network interface controller, um, one of the things that we've noticed is that, again, there's a lot of data movement that's required moving buffers around. Uh, and, you know, instead of having the CPU do that, um, why not free up the CPU while the data is being moved? And so we actually have a, a, what's called a DMA engine or direct memory access engine that's built into our chipsets. So we're actually able to do what we call chipset DMA. And so it's a little bit different than you know, your typical device DMA because we're actually able to, um, using this DMA engine, uh, do the data movement between the protocol and, and, for example, an application and not have to uh, involve the CPU at all. And so the CPU can be doing other things that you, know, you want the processor to do, like encryption or decryption, or doing transactions, or whatever it is that you might want to do and use that networking traffic for. So that's one example, and clearly to make use of that uh, chipset DMA, there's software work that's required here as well. So it's not just the fact that we have this uh, hardware here, it's also the fact that we uh, have to do work, and we've done this as a community as well. This has been a, a terrific community collaborative effort to, to really uh, uh, work in the software and make sure that Open Solaris and, and eventually Solaris has this capability. So um, that's one example. Another example of work that we've done is in the analysis of the software and said, you know, with the TCP IP protocol, instead of keeping the data and uh, header together, um, we've actually done um, uh, work on splitting those so that, you know, the, the payloads can be together on their own physical uh, memory page. So that's an example of some of the stuff that we can do to minimize the sort of overhead that the processor has to do by keeping the stuff together. So there's a lot of that sort of work that's already gone on, again, as a great collaborative effort in the community. Community. Um, there's more developments going on where, uh, you know, IO acceleration technology is really a uh, collection or an umbrella of different technologies, and we're continuing to add more and more of these, and uh, so you'll see some other uh, great uh, advances. And again, the idea, if you implement all of this with an Intel, you know, Intel CPU and chipset, um, Intel NIC, and then the Open Solaris uh, software that supports this, what you'll find is you'll have um, maybe the same data throughput on the system, you'll actually see much lower CPU utilization for the networking part itself. So have, again, more CPU available for more work. So this is very exciting stuff. Again, this is very much a, a collaborative effort. This is a part of what's great about open source, is that we can, we can collaborate together and take the best and smartest uh, that are out there to be able to improve the software uh, together. So how you can take advantage of this is that you should go to opensolaris.org, uh, check out um, a couple of things. One is uh, the latest community editions um, should have the support so you can check it out. Uh, we also have an Intel platform project. You can join that mailing list and start interacting with us and with others in the community that are working on IO acceleration technology. You can, uh, you can download the code yourself see the work that we've done in the TCP IP uh, protocol, um, work together with us to improve this because that's one of the ways that we can as an open source community uh, make this platform, both the, the, the operating system and the chipset and the CPU and the NIC, uh, make this all work together to make it a really terrific solution for the data center and, and avoid this disaster of, of too fast networking chewing up processors in the future.